Imagine a pill that could help you lose weight, reduce stress, and lower your risk of heart disease. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not a pill, but a daily dose of exercise can do all that and more. Now, we all know that regular workouts can help us shed those unwanted pounds. But have you ever considered the other, less obvious perks of getting your sweat on? Let's dive into those now. First up, let's talk about stress. In our fast-paced world, it's all too common to feel overwhelmed and frazzled. But here's the kicker. Exercise can be an effective antidote. How so? Well, when we exercise, our bodies release chemicals called endorphins. These act as natural mood lifters, helping to reduce feelings of anxiety and depression. So next time you're feeling stressed, why not try a brisk walk or a quick workout? Moving on to our lungs. You might not associate lung health with exercise, but the two are intrinsically linked. Regular physical activity can help to increase the efficiency of our lungs, making it easier for us to breathe. And the best part? You don't have to be a marathon runner to reap the benefits. Even moderate activities like walking or cycling can help. And let's not forget about our hearts. Cardiovascular disease is a major health concern worldwide. But did you know that regular exercise can significantly reduce your risk? That's because exercise helps to lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels, and strengthen the heart muscle itself. Now, these are just a few of the unexpected perks of exercise. There are many more, from better sleep and increased energy, to reduced pain and improved brain function. And the best part? You don't need a gym membership or fancy equipment to get started. All you need is a little bit of time, and a commitment to making exercise a part of your daily routine. That's right, exercise isn't just about looking good, it's about feeling good too. You might be wondering how exactly exercise does all these wonderful things. Let's dive into the science behind it. When you exercise, your body goes into a state of action. And this is where the magic happens. The heart starts pumping faster, increasing blood flow throughout the body. This enhanced circulation transports oxygen and nutrients to your muscles and organs, including the brain, which can improve cognitive function and mood. As you hustle and bustle, your body burns glucose or sugar, along with fats and proteins for energy. This process helps regulate blood sugar levels, making exercise a powerful tool for managing diabetes. But the benefits don't stop there. Exercise also stimulates the liver to produce more HDL, the good cholesterol, which helps sweep up the bad LDL cholesterol clogging your arteries. As a result, regular physical activity can significantly reduce the risk of heart disease. Now, let's talk about the brain. When you exercise, your brain releases a cocktail of chemicals including endorphins, serotonin, and dopamine. These are the feel-good neurotransmitters that boost your mood, relieve stress, and even dull pain. Plus, physical activity promotes the growth of new brain cells and connections, enhancing memory and learning. So yes, exercise can make you smarter and happier. Finally, exercise and sleep are like two peas in a pod. Regular physical activity can help you fall asleep faster and enjoy deeper sleep. It's a bit of a positive cycle. You see, good sleep improves mood, memory, and focus, which in turn can motivate you to stay active. It's a win-win situation. But how much exercise do you need to reap these benefits? Well, the World Health Organization suggests at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise per week. That's about 20 to 30 minutes a day. It may sound like a lot, but remember, every little bit counts. Even a short walk can do wonders for your health. So, it's not just hearsay, the benefits of exercise are backed by solid science. But what if you're dealing with chronic pain, can exercise still be beneficial? Absolutely. Let's delve into the world of exercise and pain management. Yes, you heard it right. Exercise can be a powerful tool to help manage and in some cases, reduce chronic pain. When we think of pain, we often think of it as something to avoid, something that might cause harm. But it's important to understand the difference between hurt and harm. In the realm of chronic pain, hurt doesn't necessarily mean harm. The truth is, regular moderate exercise can actually alleviate certain types of pain. Let's break this down. Exercise releases natural painkillers known as endorphins in your body. These little fellas are your body's way of managing pain and stress. They act as a natural analgesic, helping to dull pain. They can also promote feelings of well-being and happiness. It's like a little bit of magic happening right inside you. But that's not all. Regular exercise can also help to improve muscle tone and flexibility, reducing the risk of injury and pain. It can strengthen the supportive tissues around joints, reducing the strain, and thus, the pain. And let's not forget the role exercise plays in weight management. 
Less weight means less strain on your joints and less pain. Exercise also promotes better sleep which in turn can help to manage pain. A good night's sleep can reduce the perception of pain and help you cope with it more effectively. It's a beautiful cycle. And let's not overlook the mental aspect. Exercise can help to reduce feelings of anxiety and depression, common companions of chronic pain. It can improve your mood, your outlook, and your ability to handle stress. It's not just about the physical benefits, it's about the overall quality of life. So, remember this. Exercise isn't your enemy when you're in pain, it can actually be your ally. It's about finding the right type, the right amount, and the right intensity for you. So, even if you're in pain, don't count exercise out. It might be just what you need. Now let's talk about the heart. Not the romantic kind, but the one that's pumping away in your chest. When it comes to maintaining a healthy heart, regular exercise is key. It's like a tune-up for your ticker, keeping everything running smoothly. Think of your heart as the engine of your body. Like any engine, it needs regular maintenance to perform at its best. And the best maintenance for your heart? You guessed it, it's exercise. Exercise does more than just get your heart rate up, it strengthens the heart muscle, allowing it to pump blood more efficiently. This means more oxygen and nutrients can be delivered to your muscles and organs, which is a big deal. It's like upgrading your body from a sedan to a sports car, all thanks to exercise. What's more, regular exercise can also improve your cardiovascular function. When you work out, you're not just building muscles. You're also building a stronger heart and blood vessels. This can lead to lower blood pressure and a lower resting heart rate, which are both good news for your heart health. But the benefits don't stop there. Regular exercise can also increase your energy levels. How does this work? Well, when you exercise, you increase your heart rate, which boosts your metabolism and increases your energy. So the more you exercise, the more energy you have. It's a win-win. But remember, not all exercises are created equal when it comes to heart health. Aerobic exercises like running, swimming, or cycling are especially good for your heart. They get your heart rate up, improve your lung function, and can even help control your cholesterol levels. So show your heart some love with regular exercise. It's the best gift you can give your heart and the benefits are truly amazing. Exercise is not just about looking good, it's also about feeling good from the inside out. It's about taking care of the most important muscle in your body, your heart. Keep your heart happy and healthy with a regular exercise routine. So now you know why exercise is so important. But knowing is only half the battle. The next step is to get moving. Incorporating more exercise into your daily life might seem daunting but it doesn't have to be. Start by finding activities that you enjoy. If you love the great outdoors, consider hiking or cycling. If music is your thing, dance classes might be right up your alley. Don't worry if you're not ready to run a marathon just yet. Starting small is perfectly fine. In fact, it's recommended. Maybe you could take the stairs instead of the elevator, or park your car a little farther from your destination to fit in a brisk walk. Setting achievable goals is crucial. If you set the bar too high, you might feel discouraged and give up. But if you set small, manageable goals, you'll feel accomplished when you reach them and motivated to set new ones. Also remember, consistency is key. It's better to exercise a little every day than to push yourself to the limit once a week. Finally, don't forget to listen to your body. It's okay to take a rest day if you need it. Your body needs time to recover and adapt to the new demands you're placing on it. Remember, any exercise is better than no exercise. Start small and work your way up. So there you have it. Exercise isn't just about losing weight or building muscle. It's about improving your overall health and well-being. The journey toward a healthier you isn't a sprint, it's a marathon, full of little victories along the way. And the best part, you're not alone. We're here with tips, tricks, and motivation to keep you moving. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Remember your body will thank you for it.